Welcome everyone! In today's video, I would like to show you how to get this majestic mount called Alonira. It is pretty simple, but there is no footage of people actually using the item you're supposed to and killing the rare, so I figured, why shouldn't I do it? And well, here I am making the video. Anyways, to get Alonira, you first need to farm 10 crackling shards. Where can you get these shards? Well, from any mob on the Isle of Dorn zone, not in the Ringing Deeps, Hallowfall, nor Ashka Head. Only Isle of Dorn. The drop chance is estimated at around 0.3% or maybe even lower, so good luck. But wait, there's more! The most efficient way of farming these shards is that of killing two birds with one stone. You can start farming the Soaring Cinderbee mount in this area. While farming these, you could get a few crackling shards. Or if this is none of your bee's knees, <laughs> you can also start farming the Seas Bark Mount. For this, you need to kill loads of Nerubians, which can also be farmed in the Isle of Dorn, like I am killing here in this cave. I have already completed the quest, but join the group nonetheless just to get the shards. Also, you can see, I am with my Pandaria Remix character here, who is level 70. The scaling on level 70s is crazy, and you would do a lot of damage. And the crackling shards can drop regardless of your level, so if you have some level 70 characters you'd like to level one day, this is a good opportunity. Since I had 3 crackling shards from before, I needed only 7 more. By killing these Nerubians over and over and over and over and over again for their crackling shards, I have leveled twice. It is extremely slow, but it's better than nothing. Once you get your 10 crackling shards, you go to this spot on the map. Combine the shards and you will get an item called Storm Vessel. Once you use the item, Elonira will lose its shield and will start attacking you. Important thing I should mention is that under any circumstance, do not move while killing this rare. If you by any chance fall, the rare might reset, its shield might reset and all your grind would have been for nothing. This rare does not have any pushback ability according to Wowhead and from my experience as well, so stay still like a rock. Also, some comments on Wowhead say that they have helped their friend kill the rare and then killing the rare themselves by using their own shards only to not get the mount, so it seems that the mount is on a daily lockout. Only kill it if you haven't killed it the day you want to get the mount, so do not join groups for Alunira if there are any, just stay focused and keep farming your shards. And after you killed Elonira, you can loot... Elonira! Enjoy your majestic mount and soar through the skies of Azeroth. So in conclusion, I recommend farming the shards in three ways. First, while farming for the Soaring Cinderbeam mount. Second, while farming for the Seas Bark mount. And third, to level your level 70 character if you have completed all of the quest lines in the Isle of Dorn and you don't want to do them again. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, like the video if you liked it and make sure to pummel that subscribe button. Good luck farming your crackling shards and I'll see you all in the next one. Later!